What's going on everyone? This is Vince with vshred.com and I get a lot of questions from people, whether that be in my Instagram DMs or Facebook messages or emails or just people at the gym coming up to me asking, what's the best way to get in shape? So in today's video, I'm gonna go over the five best tips for anyone looking to get real results, whether you're trying to cut down on your weight in general, or just cut down on body fat, but stay the same weight, or whether you're trying to bulk up and put on muscle. All right, so first up, first tip I got is figuring out why it is you even want to go to the gym, figuring out what your reasoning is. And this is probably the most important aspect of getting in shape, simply because getting in shape and going to the gym is easy when you want to do it. But it's a lot more difficult when you are tired, when you are hungry, when you are stressed, that's when you end up not working out or you go get fast food on your way home from work simply because that's just the easier and more convenient option. So figuring out what your reasoning for wanting to get in shape is, is massive. And what I mean by that is, let's say you want to lose 20 pounds. Well, pull out a notepad or something like that and write down why you want to lose 20 pounds. And then if it's because you aren't happy with the way your body looks, well, why aren't you happy with the way your body looks? Keep asking yourself why and why again and why again until you get to a deep rooted reasoning that drives you to the gym at 6 a.m. before work or it makes you go to the gym at 7 p.m. after a long day at work. Like, for example, my reasoning is because I own a couple fitness companies and I am the face of those companies. I have created that identity within myself as somebody who stays in shape and helps to motivate others. And that's what I love doing. And so I have my deep rooted reason that drives me to the gym even when I don't want to go and you got to find yours as well. All right. So tip number two is to determine what your plan is. And so what I mean by that is what you're going to be eating every single day, uh, what type of workouts you're going to be doing, how often you're going to work out. And so generally the recommendation that I give as far as your meal plan and your training plan is to make sure that it is sustainable, something that you're going to be able to follow for longer than a month. Whereas with these starvation diets or no carb diets or cardio for an hour a day, that's not sustainable long term, you can do it for a couple of weeks, lose a couple pounds, but then you're going to quit, and you're going to you know, gain all your weight back. So that's why I recommend doing something like carb cycling, where you can eat a bunch of carbs, but then the next day you lower your carbs, and it just shocks your metabolism makes you lose fat, or flex dieting where you're just tracking your macros, and therefore you can eat pretty much whatever you want as long as you stay within range. And then I also recommend uh, like HIIT workouts. They're a lot shorter uh, than what you might find with a regular cardio workout, like 15 minutes, you're done. So finding a plan that's right for you, that's sustainable long-term is gonna be huge. If you want help figuring out what the best plan is for you, we do have a free quiz that matches you up with the right type of dieting and the right type of training for your body type. Um, if you wanna check that out, I'll put a link to it right down in the description below. But tip number two, get a plan, make sure it's sustainable. All right, so tip number three is to determine your routine. And what I mean by that is making sure that your next day is structured out so you know exactly what you're doing every hour on the hour. This includes what time you're gonna be waking up. This includes how many meals you're gonna be eating and what times you're eating those meals. This includes what time you're going to the gym and what you're doing at the gym. And obviously having your meal plan and your training plan figured out is gonna be huge with this step. There's that old saying, which is failure to plan is planning to fail. And I find it to be true with myself because let's say you don't wake up on time. Well, now you can't go to the gym before work or you're just not leaving yourself enough time throughout the day to go to the gym. Or if you don't have your meals planned out, you could be hungry on your way home from work with no plan in sight. And so you're like, well, screw it. I'm going to go stop by McDonald's and get a couple burgers because I'm hungry right now and I don't know what I'm going to be eating. Whereas if you planned ahead of time and you know exactly what you're doing every hour on the hour, I know it sounds like a lot of work, but after you do it a couple of times, it becomes a lot easier and it helps a lot of people because a lot of people need structure in their lives, including myself. All right, so tip number four 
is to use supplements that are going to help your weak points. And I said that very specifically because a lot of people always come to me and they're like, oh, you always promote supplements, but supplements are BS. Well, supplements aren't BS. They're not the two main things that help you get in shape. Dieting and training are always gonna be the two most important things, but supplements can help your weak points. For example, something like a protein powder, Making sure that you're getting enough protein every single day can be difficult. You're supposed to get like a gram per pound of your body weight. So I weigh 200 pounds. And so I have to have 200 grams of protein every single day. Usually I'm pretty good about it, but if I am low for any reason, maybe I missed a meal or I woke up late or something like that, I can take a scoop or two of this and just hit my protein intake that much more easily. Or something like greens, for example. I don't eat enough vegetables throughout the day. I hate vegetables. So making sure that I'm getting all my micronutrients from a greens powder that actually tastes good is going to be huge for someone like me. So finding those weak points in your own plan is gonna be massive. Also, I'm about to hit the gym right now. So one thing that I do is I take a scoop of pre-workout right before my workout every single day. This just helps give me energy, helps me stay focused, helps me get a little bit of a better pump. So I'm gonna do that right now. But tip number four, get supplements that help your weak points. All right, and so for the fifth and final tip, what I got for you is to create your workout environment. And so what I mean by that is creating a routine and also strategically choosing things like your headphones and your gym that you go to and the clothes that you wear to put you in a good mood and just remove any objections that could possibly lead to you not going to the gym. So that helps you get a better workout. So like I'm about to go to the gym right now. So I put on an outfit that I like, that I feel good in. I throw on some shoes that I like that are also good for working out, um, that are supportive and just comfortable. Um, and then I have my gym bag, which has anything in it from uh, wrist wraps, if I'm pushing heavy weight or grips, if I'm pulling heavy weight or a weightlifting belt, if I want some more core stability, if I'm doing like a heavy compound lift, I got my water on me all the time. Also, I got my headphones in there. I make sure that I always have music in and I have a workout playlist that I put on and I have multiple playlists actually. So if I'm like in the mood for hip hop, I got my hip hop playlist or I got my EDM playlist or I got my rock playlist. And so I choose whichever one and then I make sure that a song that I like is on before every set and it just gives me that much more energy and motivation to just push a little bit harder than I would without that music. And then same thing as I said, when, when you're going to the gym, make sure that you, that you like your gym. If you hate your gym, Go out and look for another gym that has better lighting or has more natural lighting or just has a better crowd at it. It's gonna make a big difference. Or if you don't like going to the gym, build out a place in your house. And whether it's in your garage or your backyard, lay a yoga mat down, get some dumbbells or some bands. And by the way, if you want some help with working out from home, we do have a 30 day at home follow along program called Move where basically I'm just your trainer for 30 days and I take you through follow along workouts five days a week for 30 days. And we've had people grabbing it a bunch and absolutely loving it and getting insane results from it. If you wanna check that out, I'll put a link to it down in the description below. But um, that's for the last tip, guys. Creating that environment is just gonna help out a ton. Um, and those are really just the five tips that I think are gonna help you the most. So it's gonna take a little bit of time in the beginning to get some of these mapped out, but once you have it mapped out, it's just gonna make everything easier. It's gonna make everything more effective and just lead to better results. But that's all for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, if you like these types of videos, make sure you're smashing that thumbs up button below. And if you have any video recommendations, throw it down in the comment section. I'm always checking those. And last but not least, if you are not yet subscribed to the VShred channel here on YouTube, make sure that you are smashing that subscribe button and joining the VShred fam, because uh, we've got tons of content coming out all the time. So that's all for today, guys. I gotta head to the gym. I hope this helped. I'll see you in the next one.